In this Revit tutorial, I'm going to take you through the concepts of Project North and True North in Revit. So you can see on screen, I've got a, a small project here. We've got a topo surface, so this is our site. We've got a road going across the site, and we've got our building on the site. So if I just switch to level zero floor plan, so there is our building. So it makes sense when we're developing our design and we're detailing it that you'd want to have it orientated orthogonally on the screen as it is now. But if we just go back to our site plan, we can see there that true north is actually on the diagonal. And generally for site plans, you would want true north pointing vertically up the screen. What you don't want to do is just fence all this and rotate it because if you do, you are rotating the model and when you go back to your floor plan or any other plans then your building will be rotated accordingly and yes you could work on it like that but it'll be I would suggest very difficult it's going to look um, not not brilliant when you put it onto sheets so in essence you're going to want to work on your design on your building like this but for site plans you're going to want it rotated. Now Revit has the facility built in to allow those two different orientations um, to be set in different views. Now with no objects selected, if you look at the properties for the view, if we look down here, we've got orientation. Uh, it's currently set to Project North. If you hit the little drop down, you can see that you've got two options, Project North and True North. Now Project North, is when the building is orientated orthogonally on screen so typically how you would work and develop your design and typically how you would present your plans on sheets when they're printed out so let's go and reorientate the site plan so go back to the site plan now we've got a special tool to rotate the true north so what you need to do first though is change the properties of this view for the site plan and say that this orientation is going to be true north. Now I flick that to true north, nothing's happened because we haven't rotated this view. So the next thing to do now is go up to the manage tab and if you look across the project location, little drop down, you want to rotate true north. So we rotate true north, you're going to get a pivot point um, and a sort of angular vector for rotating exactly the same as you've used in the rotate command so in this case what I'm going to do is pick up the pivot point and move it to the base of the north arrow select my start point and we want our north arrow to point vertically up so I'll click there to confirm zoom back out so there is our site plan with north facing vertically up the screen as you'd expect. Obviously the building and the site and everything is rotated. The property of the view is set to true north. Just to show you, we hit the little drop down. We can flick back to project north and rotate it back. But let's leave the site plan on true north. So there's our site plan as you'd probably present that on a sheet with north pointing upwards but if we go back to our level zero floor plan because this is set to project north we can now carry on developing our design with the building orientated orthogonally on screen I hope you enjoyed this Revit architecture video if so please hit the like button if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released please subscribe to this channel and to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF ebooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.